Hey everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In this episode we're going to be heading back to the Sea Slide Galaxy to do some more stalls here. And luckily for me we're not actually going to be doing that annoying stall that I told you about last episode in this episode. If that made any sense. Anyway, uh, faster than a speeding penguin, which as it would appear is a race against the penguins around the loop. But first, this galaxy has a whole bunch of uh, job it's just waiting to be found. Case in point. Alright, what do you guys say? I'm not much of a swimmer, so I'll just watch from here if that's okay. Uh, wanna race? Down for a race? Bet you can't beat me. Uh, bet you I can, because you guys are really easy. Today, penguin races. Challengers welcome. What do you got? I couldn't win the penguin race. I'm more of a slow, leisurely snorkel and leaf kind of toad. If you can't win this penguin race, you're very bad at basic. Alright, what are you working on? It's gonna take a while to get the cannon ready. Hang on. Okay. And what do you got? If you want to get one of the penguin races, go talk to the coach, which is this guy. But first, seems like that hooligan is finally going to straighten up and swim right. What do you gotta say? Here's a little tip for you. If you pass through the underwater rings, you'll speed up. Yeah, thanks. I really needed that. You can dive with the ray you slow down the shell. Pretty basic stuff. Alright. We've got penguin races starting here soon. One in? Of course I want in. I want my stall. So to start off here, because we don't have a shell, all the penguins are going to speed ahead. But obviously there's a shell right there. We just want to use some spin moves to uh, go to it. And start it off. And ever since playing Skyward Sword, I always, whenever I get into water in a 3D game, I always try to use the wheel mode to swim around and guide myself instead of actually using the control stick. Because that way of swimming was probably one of the best ways of swimming I've ever played in the game. That or Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is swimming. Both Zelda games. Zelda knows it's swimming. Anywho, I'm not talking about this game at all. It's the Zelda game episode, not really. But uh, as you can see here, we're already up into first. And I told you this place is easy. We're only about half time. Oh no! I get the walk twice. Okay, well, what the crap? I obviously suck. But even if you do hit that, I mean, it's not that hard to overtake this guy. You can take a shortcut over here, which is hardly really a shortcut, but whatever. I like to say it's a shortcut to make me feel better. And here's those wings that the uh, shark was telling us about. They don't appear too late in the race, actually. So it's more like a come behind wind than a. Uh, Actual tactic, if anything. Alright, then just swim through the gate over here. And. We're done. 122. Not my best time, obviously, because of the running into the walls. I did better on my practice run. But, obviously, it's enough to get the gold medal, which is a star. Because everybody seems to treat gold, uh, stars as gold medals. For whatever reason. But, whatever, we got the star, gold medal, whatever you want to call it. And we get one more to our running total, which will make it 74, I believe. Yes, it will. And all this boring stuff. Got a Hungry Luma that we're not going to be doing for like five more episodes. Alright, so now we have a Cosmic Comet in orbit. So we get to do another race. This time against all uh, spacey self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cosmic Comet in orbit. As if I didn't see it. Underwater Cosmic Mario race. Even though only half of it's underwater. Now this one is harder than the penguin race, but it's still pretty easy. So as we watch all stupidly long intro. Step forward, and obviously, Cosmic Mario will flip down and presume annoying us with his intrepid need to start races. Let's start off, you're gonna wanna 
get into the water as fast as you can, dive down as fast as you can, and grab a shell. And he doesn't actually grab your shell, he'll grab like a shadow shell that appears there. So don't worry about getting to the shell first, the shell will still be there if he gets there first. Anyway, you're gonna obviously wanna hit all these speed up rings. Don't go for the one up, it's a trap. And then you wanna actually head over to the left here, up these stairs, throw away the shell, and then go around the lighthouse and get the stuff. So again, not that hard of a race. Cosmic Mario's are usually pretty easy. So after that, now 75 stars. That seemed really quick. And I guess it was. We're going to be moving on to the uh, third star of this episode and the Sea Slide Galaxy. Which is, as soon as we take the long amount of time to actually get there. The Silver Stars of the Sea Slide. This is the annoying star I was talking about, because it's pretty much a fetch quest all around the Sea Slide, finding five Silver Stars to make a Power Star. But, as I said earlier, we're not actually going to be doing this star this episode, because this star has a secret star in it. Everyone here is telling us to look for the Silver Stars, we gotta find the Silver Stars. Well, no, I don't. Alright, what do you guys think? I swim to my clothes, I can't flop anymore, didn't see any silver stars. That's a hint as to not looking in the water for them. But yeah, you just wanna skip all this right now. You can see one up there right now, actually. But instead, we're gonna wanna go to where that green toad is making the cam camera cannon. Uh, last episode and you'll see that he's now done with it as well as there being a hungry luma but before you go to the hungry luma you're gonna wanna get about 40 star bits that should be plenty yeah 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 burst happiness transforming 40 yeah. so feed him and he will Transform around a black hole into a planet of the disappearing platforms. So jump in the cannon and launch yourself onto the platform. Now what you can do, and I completely forgot to do for this, is uh, you can grab a bee mushroom and it makes this part a lot easier. But it almost feels like cheating the game, so I don't always like to do that. So yeah, we're just collecting notes. And they're going up the scale. And all that. Uh, if you're watching it the day it come out, then today is the first day of E3. Although it was only Microsoft, so I wasn't really that interested. But tomorrow's Nintendo, then I'm really going to be looking forward to that. With all the Wii U new stuff, hopefully some new games like Pikmin 3. I've been waiting for that forever. If my name didn't give it away, I love the Pikmin series. And they've been neglecting it for way too long. Uh oh. Um, crap, 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 crap. Alright, I'm gonna get that one last. Because you don't have to be on the platform for the last note. Because at the center, the star will appear. And we're done. Alright. And that's the third star. For a really short episode, actually. And I would do another star, usually. But I know that the next star takes, like, a good 7 or 8 minutes to do. And then we're going into, like, 20 minutes. So, I'm not going to do that. I'm I'm just going to end it up here. So, next time on... Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to be going back to the sea slide, doing that annoying star, and then opening up some more galaxies. Alright, see you guys then.